hi guys welcome back to my channel i am so happy to have you guys back in today's video i will be showing you how to create this luxurious diy cascading flower wedding centerpiece for any table wedding decorations please stay tuned and watch how i assemble this beautiful masterpiece also Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below. And don't forget to share this video with a friend. Check out our Elegant Creators group on Facebook. It has grown to over 25,000 members. You can learn so much from this group. You can get so many creative ideas and learn from professionals themselves. If you haven't joined, the link will be in the description box below. Also, don't forget to check out the Elegant Creatives Academy, where I teach you how to build your business online. It's free to join. Check it out now. The link is in the description box below. To start off, I'm going to take my wood glue to add it onto the circle wooden plaque. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take the two circle plaque, put them together and let it dry for about 30 minutes. This unfinished wood circle plaque is about 11 inch in diameter. It's about 11 inch in diameter. And they come about five in a pack, I believe. I will put the link down in the description box below. Every item here that I use in this video today will be linked in the description box below. And the size of this wooden circle plaque is about six inch in diameter. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and use it to draw a circle in the center of my 11 inch wooden circle plaque. Okay, now, however, you don't necessarily have to use this particular wooden plaque to draw the circle. So another thing that you can use, you could probably easily find because it's literally the same size as this circle wooden plaque is this Dollar Tree bowl that I have here. You can also use it to draw your circle in the center. It's literally the same size as the as the bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pen. You could use a pen, you could use a pencil. That option is completely up to you. You want to make sure you center it as much as possible. And then I'm going to take it, take my pen and draw a circle around this. And draw a circle in the center of the wooden plaque. Now that I'm done finished drawing the perfect circle in the center of my wooden plaque, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our wooden dial. These wooden dials are about 24 inches long, so they are about 2 feet tall. The reason why I draw the circle is to help guide where I'm going to be placing my wooden dial. And if you somewhat like to be a perfectionist, you know, kind of like how I can be sometime, so I highly suggest you draw the circle to help guide where you're going to be placing your wooden dial. So my wooden dials are going to basically be in the center of this 11 inch wooden plaque. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure how far apart you're going to be placing each wooden dial. So I'm going to go ahead and take my glue gun and my wood glue so that I can have a very strong hold. The reason why I like to use my glue gun is because it really helps speed up the process um, when it comes to the drying part because, of course, the glue gun gives it that quick drying as the wood glue, you know, it takes a little bit more time to dry. So I'm going to use just both of them at the same time. So I'm going to mark the spacing, so I'm debating if I should do two inch or three inch. So I say do about three inch. 
So if you'd like, you can mark where you're going to be placing all of your wooden dowels. So that's one right here. So as you can see, I'm just measuring everywhere I'm gonna be placing my wooden dial. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same process with the top part of my centerpiece. This part right here is going to go on top of the wooden dowels, okay? Yeah. Now, the circle plaques, you could choose to do it whatever size you want in diameters. You could do it the same size as the bottom part of that, that is about 11 inch, or you can do it a bigger size, which is about 14 inch. Now, because I ran out of the 11 inch circle plaque, I decided to use a 14 inch diameter circle plaque because that's what I had, so I decided to use it instead. So I recommend you using the same size on the bottom and the same size on the top of your centerpiece so you can get that perfect complete look if you don't mind. So that is just an option. You could choose to do the different size or you could choose to do the same size top and bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it three inches apart. I want the wooden dowels to measure the same as the bottom and the same for the top. So starting from here at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and take my 14 inch circle wooden plaque and I'm gonna go ahead and align them to where I have my bullet points in the center of my 14 inch circle plaque. So I'm just gonna align it to where you see all my little dots to make sure that I am putting all of them in the correct placing so that it can be nicely evened out, straight, and it can look absolutely perfect. If you have doubled up on your 11 inch base, then I highly recommend you doubling up on the top part as well, so that you can have this nice, strong, thick base and nice, strong top part to your center piece. The floor moss measures about 22 inches in length and width it measures about 11 inches okay I'm gonna cut it the same length as you see here but the width I'm going to cut it I'm not going to cut it the same width so the width that I'm going to cut it will be about six inches okay so you want to start cutting it in about six inches and with the moss when it's folded it's about 22 inches in length but when you go ahead you open it apart to make it longer okay it's going to be about 
because you can open it up and make it longer. So it will it will be about forty four inches and about forty four inches in length once you open it up. Now one thing that you can do is you can use the leftover moss, use it to cover the back of the other. Okay, so that both sides are showing green. So you don't have one side looking like this and one side looking like that. So what you can do is you're going to use the other half that you cut. You're gonna go ahead and glue it on top of the other one. You're going to need about 60 peonies to complete this floral runner cascade. So what you see here, I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue to glue the peonies onto the runner moss. I'm also on the hunt for a really good glue gun. If you guys have any recommendation, please list it down in the comment section below. I would love to hear what type of glue guns you guys use because I really need a really good glue gun. I'm going to take the tip of the moss runner, add hot glue to it, and go ahead and stick it underneath the floral stand. This scene right here is just really me just playing with how I'm going to be positioning my flower casket runner. And as you see here, I am just going to wrap it around it and I am going to be hot gluing it as I go. So basically you just start from the top, you wrap it around your um, stand, your wooden stand, and then you just hot glue it as you go along. Be patient when wrapping your floral casket around your flower stand. Trust your instant and see which is a better way to wrap it around and just go with the flow. And this is how it looked. And this is how it turned out. Okay guys, I am finished. And honestly, you guys, I am absolutely amazed at how this turned out. What do you guys think? I wanna know your thoughts in the comment section of the final look. It looks absolutely stunning, you guys, from head to toe. I'm just excited that I was able to execute it, you know? And look how it turned out, you guys. I love the exposed greenery. I love how the punies look. And if you was to try this piece 
what color flowers would you have used? What type of flowers would you have used? So this is about two feet tall and the spray paint is silver. That spray paint is absolutely amazing. I just love the finishing touch. I know I always rave about a particular spray paint, but I just love the finishing touches to spray paints. They look absolutely amazing and I always like to get the best of the best of spray paint. And also I wanted to quickly tell you guys about before purchasing your items online, I would like for all of you guys to make sure before purchasing any of those items to register for Ebates before purchasing any of the items. The link will be in the description box underneath this video. So you want to register first before going online to your favorite websites like Amazon to purchase any of those items that I link underneath this video. By signing up with Ebates, of course, you know you do get multiple discounts on any of your purchases and you also get cash back, which is pretty amazing. For this flower arrangement, you will need about 20 greeneries, 30 hydrangea heads, and about 50 punies. Thank you. 